Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome. I've got a completely washed, clean face that I'm ready for today's video. So if you haven't seen the title, we are going to do my skincare routine together, my nighttime skincare routine. I am someone kind of exercise after work, so I take a shower after work, after exercise. Um, so usually my first step after shower is to apply a face mask. I have a whole bunch of face masks in the drawers behind you guys. I'm actually thinking of doing a skincare inventory with you guys as well, show you my skincare collection so you can see what I've got. But I've just picked one of these ones today. It's a uh, Japanese brand. This one is a relatively good quick 10 minutes mask in my opinion. So that's my step one. I do cleansing, double cleanse while I was in the shower. While I was getting the water temperature ready, I would go for my oil cleanser or balmy cleanser to get rid of my sunscreen, any makeup. And then I would go with a forming cleanser while I'm in the shower. So this particular mask is a little bit thickened in terms of their sheets. So I like it to do as a quick 10 minutes mask. I feel weird looking myself like this and talking. <laughs> it's like a talking emoji. Um, there are different masks that I like. Some are gel, some are biocellular from Dr. Levens. Some are more like serum heavy base so I can have a good pamper session. Depends on what time of the day. Like I said, I usually exercise afterwards. I take a shower afterwards. But over the weekend, I would do a pamper session after um, my outdoor sports. So I really enjoy a nice decent mask. It feels so good after exercise, especially it's outdoor here in Australia. So this mask, it does says can leave it on for five to 15 minutes. I feel like 10 minutes is good enough. Um, this one, you don't have to wash it out afterwards. The serum's pretty dry down, absorb into nothing. Some of them are a bit tacky. It just depends. You find out after the first usage. While I'm getting this mask to five to 10 minutes, what I would do is usually do oil for my body and then body cream. I've already done that, but I can show you what I've been using. I have different oils that I've been testing. Some are slightly better than the others, but I'm still in the process of finding my favorite one. I'm just currently using the Pi Lightweight Oil. I don't know if it's focused, please focus. No. There we go. Focusing. This is a 10 mil that I received from Looks Fantastic, but I do think they sell 10 mil as well. So it's the Light Fantastic Ceramide Face Oil, but I use it for my body because I don't use oil that often on my face. And then I'll pair it with a body cream. There are two that I'm currently using. One is this Aveeno Skin Relief Moisturizing Cream. Oh my god, this is so good and gives a cooling sensation, cooling action here. I have used that this much. This is a 312 grams big jar and I've been using this since late last year. I feel like by the end of this year, I might be able to finish it. Because that cooling effect, there are days I just want something a little bit thick, more moisturizing, not so much of cooling. Summertime is so good. So I just opened up this travel size Wellada Skin Food Rich Intensive Skin Care. Um, I think it's a face and body cream. I've only used this one once so far. It's really thick. I can just show you. It comes with this like metal packaging. Metal? I don't think that's the word. But it's like, you know, it's not plastic packaging. It's kind of like a thick consistency. And you do feel like that sort of cream. Definitely a cream rather than a lotion but absorbs really good into your skin and it feels very moisturizing. Like you can tell the differences and I don't feel tacky, like it's just moisture. So it's really good I think for the winter time while we're heading into the winter here in Australia. So I've just been kind of using this along with that one. The other thing I'll do while I'm getting my mask ready is my neck. Neck skincare is very important and instead of me going heavy on ingredients I feel so weird talking in mask but 
just bear with me. I'd rather just put something very moisturizing serum on and then layer with a neck cream or a body moisturizer or a face cream. Whichever one that you have in hands, you don't have to buy it separately. But if you're like me and enjoying the idea of having 10,000 bottles of skincare steps, then you can sure go ahead and get some neck, neck cream. Um, two serums that I've been using interchangeably. One is this Lacura Intensive. This is just like hyaluronic acid serum. It's called Caviar Illumination Luxury Anti-Aging Intensive Night Treatment. They also have like day treatment. I don't think you're gonna get focused on, but each this little jar probably lasts me a week or so, this little tube. It's just a nice moisturization serum. Or I usually use something like Clear Skin. This is the Apple Stem Cell Serum. I've got it as a gift. It's like some what anti-aging but not as strong as like a retinoid or as strong as a vitamin c so i don't have to feel irritated around my neck because i do have a relatively sensitive neck and it eats me out a lot if i'm using those active ingredients so and this day with my neck condition i'm very happy just to use some like skincare moisturizing ingredient always a little bit of anti-aging purpose so i'm gonna use this one today i'll just dip 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 I'll say this much is probably enough and then I'll just layer it all around my neck. I sometimes even use a spray before just to, you know, give some water, moisture, especially during summertime. I like to do that, just spray myself, cool myself down, calm myself down a little bit more. And at the moment, I don't have particular, like, mist I'm using but during the summer I think I have a video about all the thermal waters I'll use one of those um, and then I'll go ahead with my neck cream which is the skin cuticle triple tree peptide R neck recream this is the one that I got fairly recent um, and I've been using it two pumps every day if I'm applying neck cream at the start I think it was pretty strong but now I can use it every day it's got this yellowy sort of color and it is a slightly lightweight lotion to cream texture so I just kind of rub it all around. Before this I was using a skin regenerator neck cream which was good but I think the ingredients more for moisturizing rather than anti-aging or peptide heavy based on. Um, I've also used the Sicily ones before, Clarins one before. I think with money value wise in general, I'll probably repurchase the Clarins one. That's probably more worth the money, not spending too much. And you can tell as I was talking, the bottom is already dried out. I can feel it's a bit tight here. If I want to boost it, I can get some of the serums out or spray it just to last it for a little bit longer. But I think for today, this is it. So I'm just gonna take it off and I usually just pat all around, just make sure it will all absorb into my skin. This is where if this mask is techy, I'm gonna splash with water because I'm gonna have a couple steps after this. If it's not, then it's all good. So I'm gonna let it set for a little while and go ahead with my toner. I know, you can probably skip the toner, but because my toner is a BHA exfoliate, which means I'm going to further chemical exfoliate the pores around my nose, minimize them, get rid of all the white head and black heads. So I still like to use it. So just do, you can use it with a cotton pad. I just use my hand. So just around my nose, T-zone. I actually do put residual just over here. I just feel like I'm not wasted. And I am someone having quite enlarged pores because I notice that when I do makeup. If you don't have that issue, you can just target to areas and you might not need it every day, but I pretty much use it every night. Um, and then for serums, the one and only ingredient that I have to have in my skincare routine is retinoid during the nighttime. I am currently trying the Olay Retinoid 24 Night Serum Fragrance Free Version. I do like the cap design, you just twist it open and they already have a pump of product, which for me at this stage, one pump is all I need for my entire face. Sometimes I use two pumps, but that happens very rarely. I think it's because my face is nice and wet. 
so it just absorbs everything a little bit easier and it doesn't feel very harsh on my skin like I literally haven't noticed any stinging I don't think I'll repurchase this because I don't think the ingredient like the retinoid that it has in here it's strong enough my all-time favorite is still the ordinary granite active 2% but I am really keen to try the Polar's Choice one because I've been really loving their vitamin C serum that I'm using so I want to try that one as well soon just to see how I feel if it can replace the ordinary because I know the ordinary are a lot cheaper but I'm also just after a little bit more better sort of experience wise um, on top of the performance. So that's step one serum. Step two serum, I tend to do two serums at least, is the niacinamide that I'm currently using, the Lacura Lab Niacinamide Plus Zinc. This is an OD brand, so affordable, 60 ml for $9.99. I would definitely get another bottle next time when they restocking, if they ever do, please. They sell out so fast this year, so I think they should. Um, it's a lot more lighter consistency compared to the ordinary ones so it spreads a lot easier and it feels less techy afterwards, less stinging and it still have 10% plus zinc so I definitely like this one over the ordinary but at this stage I have a couple of pimple marks I am going to use a pigment treatment which is by Neon this is their Reap Pigment Multi Pathway Brightening System um, I bought this one to use for my sunspot here do not work so I've just tried it to use it for my like this red scarring mark and I think for fresh pigment this one's pretty good so I just like see these two I know it's still very visible but for me like for example this one it's been for a month and it's still here I had one around my thumb before it has been for months. Um, so to me, for someone really easy to scarring and bruising, it takes forever long to heal all the scars and the pigmentations. This one's been working well for fresh ones. Not so much if you're going for like a long term one. Just bear in mind. But if you're also after something, I do think this is a good product. It's just expensive. 15 mil, I think, was around 40 dollars or something. And it comes with this yellow. I can't get anything out slightly yellow-y sort of texture. I don't know if it shows yellow in front of the camera, but it has a very light sort of like tea colored um, texture. No, color. Yes, tea colored color. Um, and then we go with this nice cinnamon. This will be enough for my entire face. I'm just gonna go all over my face. I tend to do steps in between as if like I've already applied a full phase of serum then I'll go target treatments so I'll let my serum sink it in but I don't want to wait until completely dry so you can apply your eye cream in between to let it set a little bit and then apply for the next layer so you make sure you have time to get it all absorbed and they don't sort of against each other they get into your skin before the next step so while I'm letting it set just for a little bit longer, I'm going to go ahead with my eye cream. I literally just finished this L'Oreal Revita Lift Filler Eye Cream. This is like a travel size just this morning. So I've pulled out another eye cream by 40 fathoms. You can probably hear the noise from outside because I have the window open. Otherwise, I need to put the uh, vent on and then I'm just going to be too noisy. So this is the Skin Regenerator Eye Cream. I've never tried this, I just decided to give it a go. I have this in Dota Organic Brightening Eye Oil. I reviewed this a little bit, maybe late last year, and then I just stopped using it. This is like a roll-on ball. My hand's so slippery because with all the serums. I tried it already on my hand. It didn't smell anything bad, and I patch test on the back of my hand, and it was working fine, so I'm gonna use it for my eyes. So I usually just roll it under the eye, just, oh my god, so cooling. Oh, so good. You can probably tell I have a little bit of like dark circles because I was on call yesterday the entire day and I woke up early. So I just do it all around my eyes, all around my eyes. Just like a pamper session. It has good oils in here, but I don't think it has anything else. And then I'm going to layer up with this eye cream. This is my first time using it as well in front of the camera. It's a very light liquid sort of consistency. Got a little bit of like cream color. 
So I'll just do it all around. I'm gonna change the battery of my camera because it's flashing and then I'll see you guys in a second to do my face cream together. Last step for my face cream. My face is shiny as and I don't really care if it's night time, but I do mind it's daytime, so I have a few other things that I use, tricks that I do to make my morning skincare routine a bit more mattified. I've been using the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Cream. If you watch my recent vlog, it's in vlog episode two for 2023 January Canberra trip. Um, I went to TK Maxx and bought this one. If you do have NQR near where you're staying in Australia, where you live in Australia, they do have this as well, and it's for $10 a bottle, which is pretty good for a jar. I've been using it, and I have to say, I really enjoyed it. It does have a fragrance, at least the one that I got. I think they might have one as fragrance free. It's got this kind of slightly thick, like a Greek yogurt sort of texture. And it just melts into your skin. Like, look at that. So good. Um, what I do with creams is just kind of pat it all around my face. I try to minimize a bit of rubbing um, because I've already got so many layers on. They don't actually peel up, but I just feel like doing this, it's probably a little bit better. And I feel like doing that pressing motion really push everything into the skin. But I know that could be just me feeling it, not necessarily the case, but I feel good that way, so I do it that way. You don't have to follow it. So I probably did three little scoops with my fingertip and then just tie it all around. If you have a dry skin, you might want to use it. I think this is going to be the good one for the neck as well. I do have a separate neck cream, like I said, I love to have separate things. Um, but if you don't really enjoy that, then I do feel like this cream can be used for the face and the neck. Um, it's just a tiny bit tacky, a tiniest bit tacky. Alright, before I finish off, usually I can just go to sleep with this. Uh, sometimes I put a lip balm, sometimes I don't today. I'm going to go downstairs to do a few more things before actually heading to bed, so I'm going to leave that to the last step. But there's something else I've been doing since last year. I bought a Lancome Lash Serum I showed in one of my shopping haul. It's been doing so well for my lashes, a really lengthening my lash. And then, because it was so expensive, I went ahead to purchase a dual pack of the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. And this one I've been using probably, I have like half of it left for this particular tube. I don't think a lengthened, like growed the length of my lashes, but I feel like they're thicker, like, more black than before so i'm thinking maybe i should go back to the lancome one and use it in between but lancome one is so expensive so i know l'oreal l'oreal also have another one like from the l'oreal paris and they're the same like big company controlling all these little mini companies so i might get that just to see how i feel you can see this is the tip of the brush um, I'll show you a little bit closer. Because I've been using it for a while, can you see there's a slip there? That's really harsh. The entire brush tip is really, really hard. So sometimes when I brush it, I poke into my eyes and that hurts. So the Lancome brush is way better than this. I'm gonna try to focus on my mirror, so I hope I record it well, you can still see it. I just brush it like it's a mascara or brush it if it's like a, you know, primer for mascara. I make sure I can see this product on all of the eyelashes and then I kind of just go zigzag exactly how I would do for a mascara. The applicator is much worse than the Lancome one. Hence, even that one is very expensive, I still feel like there is a reason behind it that I want to go back and repurchase. If they have gifts with purchases, that will be something I really consider to purchase next time. So sometimes if I feel like I haven't done enough, I would kind of just close it and then brush on the tip of it just to get everything on. I don't usually use it on my brows. Literally, I've never used it on my brows because I'm pretty happy. This is my natural brow. Like I'm already very happy with it. Considering this has make everything so, so thickened than before, I feel like if you have very light colored brows and you want to grow thicker or a bit more firm more wild 
like the natural fluffy brows, this could be one that's better than the Lancome because the Lancome is more for lashes. Like literally, the length that I've got, the growth of the length is incredible. Like I realized that so vividly when I was brushing myself with mascara, I was just like, oh my god. Because I can curl my lashes a lot more easier and that used to be a very tricky part. Anyway, too much about the story of this brow. So I'm going to keep using it until I finish it and then I might repurchase another one. I might give you guys an update on another occasion. And that sort of completes everything. I will also use a hand cream, but like I said, I'm going downstairs. So that's going to be when I come back to brush my teeth and then I'll do lip balm, hand cream and go to sleep. That's pretty much for today's video. Thanks for joining me with my nighttime skincare routine. I will do a morning skincare routine with you guys on a different day. Probably do it on a day when I have a day off. So I hope you'll see you guys very soon in that video as well. Uh, as always, stay safe and stay positive. Enjoy time with friends and family. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I think I said that. Just, oh, anyway. Have a good time. Bye.